but you're not disabled. You can't say you're disabled and say autism isn't a problem. You've got to pick one or the other. These are understandable things to say. The medical model of disability locates disability in the person and we, me included, tend to think in the medical model way and in that way I am not disabled. But the social model of disability recognises disability as something done to a person rather than in a person. So a person who communicates using sign language is able to communicate when others sign. They are disabled when others do not. A person who uses a wheelchair is able to move around in places where ramps and lifts are provided and is disabled by environments that do not provide these things. So under the social model of disability, people with impairments, physical differences to their bodies, and people without impairments can experience disability. So it's like, aha, Jo is one of the people with no physical differences to her body, but who experiences disability. Pretty much, but research shows physiological differences in the brains of autistic people. And if we wore our brains on the outside, the difference might be as easy to appreciate as the difference in physiology of someone who uses a wheelchair or walks with a white cane. I experience disablement, but generally I don't talk about it. Like anyone, I tend to showcase where I do well in life and not where I fumble. And like anyone, I hold internalised ableism that dismisses the difficulties I and people like me face. Being shortlisted has made me think that I should brave being vulnerable. And so these shorts are me doing that by sharing my experiences of disability with you.